Start by removing the left side cosmetic panel. Pull from the bottom and lift up. Make sure the system is unplugged before proceeding. Remove all attached cables. You may need a long flathead screwdriver to remove the secured cables. Unplug the AC power. On older BEPs, make sure to transfer the serial options adapter to the new BEP. Remove the screws from the back of the BEP that secure it to the chassis. Remove the two screws from the front of the chassis. Once unsecure, slide the back of the BEP out and remove the BEP. Once the BEP is removed, remove the BEP side panel to gain access. Unplug the fan power. To remove the hard drive, remove the two nuts securing it to the chassis. Unplug the IDE and power cables. Slide the hard drive up and out. To remove the BEP power supply, remove the four screws from the rear of the BEP chassis. Hold the BEP power supply while removing the last screw. Once the screw is removed, push the power supply towards the front of the tower and lift out from the side. Remove all connections to the motherboard and internal devices. Once all connections have been removed, you can remove the power supply. Install the new BEP power supply by connecting all the appropriate power connections to the motherboard and internal devices.
hold the BEP power supply while securing the four screws to the back of the BEP chassis. Install the new hard drive and secure with the two nuts. Reconnect the IDE and power connections. Reinstall the side cover and reconnect the fan. Slide the front end of the BEP into the opening. Then push the back end against the chassis. Reinstall the screw securing the BEP to the chassis. Reconnect all cables to the BEP. Use the diagram on the side panel to guide you. Make sure all cables are secure. Reinstall the left side cosmetic panel. Refer to the software reload procedure video if the hard drive was replaced.